Hey, hey, you beautiful, wonderful, amazing souls. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And, and I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> and I'll tell you all about it. So yesterday was my last day of work. But we'll get into that. Uh, for that last week. For, I, I, I still work there. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Um, if you're interested in following a daily life ketogenic, insane weight loss sometime journey, it's time to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. I messed that all up. Anyway, it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. Did you miss me? Y'all miss miss me again tonight, to be honest with you. I'm a little lazy. A lot. Hi. Hi. This is my oldest grandson, Zach, for anybody who hasn't. I have a tooth hasn't. that is hurting. A tooth that's hurting. And who has all your teeth? I had. I think I got them in a And I draw. had Skittles. Yeah, what? I had Skittles. Skittles. I had too much Skittles and uh. now I have a black tooth. Uh, I don't think that's exactly how that works because you just had the Skittles tonight. Yeah. What are we doing? I want to sit with you. You want to sit with me? Well, how do I get actually on my leg? Oh, God. I swear there's an indention on my leg where this kid has sit since most of his life. How much? How much? Infinite, infinite, infinite. I love you all that plus two. No, I said infinite, infinite, infinite. Plus two. Yeah, plus two. <laughs> My baby. You goofy? What'd you do this week in school? Or yesterday, today? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You don't know? Did you learn anything? No. No? No. By the way, that's not a scratch. That's candy on his face. Yeah. So I'm going to scrub him down. Ah! <laughs> it is sweatshirt and sweatpants yeah! weather. No, 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 no. Don't do that right now. Okay. I actually have to film it. It's 11. Fight. Whoa, no, stop, stop. It's fight. No, no fight. It's 11 p.m. Yes, fight. How about bed? No, fight, fight. Yeah, no. Fight. It's bedtime. We've got a whole video of us fighting. Go get Can it. I see? Yeah, I'll show it to you one day. Let's make this clip. All right, so yesterday I wasn't here. Not because I worked super late, because for the first time since I have worked there, they sent me home early. I got to leave at 4 p.m. Of course, I was still pissed off because yesterday morning when I got out of bed, my husband got to lay there all snuggling in bed because he was off. Since I've worked there this entire time, I've never once been sent home early or had like a day off, um, like where we didn't have to work. So it was like crazy. I've had like a one um, holiday day and then, you know, we had some sick days that we had to be out for, but never got sent home early. Even when I first started there, like um, the crew I worked with, they got sent home early. I was sent to another department. It's like, this is not fair. I didn't even know they left early. I did not even know. He's. Hold on. Active live household. And it's pretty late at night. I'm about to put everybody to bed. They ain't gonna like me none, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> so I've been. I got off at four yesterday. And then Hubby wanted to go get something to eat. And then, like, one thing led to another. And I got on TikTok. And I didn't get off of it. Like, till like 2 a.m. I didn't mean to. He sent me one through Messenger. I clicked on it. And then it started the scrolling thing. Why? I don't know. It just did. I'm not even big on TikTok. Now I've got this phone and I can download it. I downloaded TikTok and, and now I'm, I'm watching way too damn much of it. It's my fault. Babe! It's going to get me to monetize. Alright, speaking of TikToks. So last night what I got kind of hung up on was this lady's like, okay, duet this. I want you to go watch this. The opening scene on Netflix of a show called Nocturnal Animals and record your um, your impression of it. 
well, this is interesting. So I set up my camera and Corey happened to walk in right as I was getting ready to watch it. So I turned it on. I'm not going to show you any of the show because it would definitely get me kicked off Netflix. Uh, definitely get me kicked off of YouTube or Rumble or anywhere else probably because... Mm -mm. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you mine and Corey's uh, reaction to it because it was quite funny. Wait to the end of her reaction. She starts laughing and I about died. So check this out. So where's the, this is Netflix now, it's called Nocturnal Animals. The dogs are there drinking water. <laughs> This is on Netflix. <laughs> um, not what you expect within a few seconds of a show. And no, this is the beginning scene. On net, oh my God, she's full naked. <laughs> oh my God, on Netflix. When did Netflix become born up? Ow! There's an animal attacking me. Hi, puppy. What the hell is this show about? That and dancing naked people, apparently. So that's a different person. That one was shape right. Anybody can just, you know, watch, watch it. Watch it, right. This is not what I was expecting. I thought maybe something was going to jump at the face or something. I thought it was going to be something funny. I mean, I guess this is kind of funny, but why is it on Netflix? <laughs> Ooh, Netflix. Y'all have fallen. Really fallen. I think I'm done watching that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I caught the best laugh on camera <laughs> as long as it's still recording. <laughs> it's still recording. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much why I wasn't here last night. But hey guys, in brighter news, sweatpant weather! <laughs> Warm, cozy, comfy sweatpant weather. <laughs> um, now I don't care. Anyway, so I mean, I had a pretty decent day at work yesterday. It was cut short and that was amazing. I loved that. Uh, still getting paid for it. Even better. Um, I'm off next Sunday too because it's my husband and I's at my. It's our anniversary 24 years and he's still alive you girls got some patience <laughs> um yeah but we were going to take the entire weekend but then that whole covid thing hit i will tell you something it left me with one teeny tiny little gift are you good are you sure you're good sounds like there's a deer back there rutting um Go to the bathroom and blow your nose. You could do that for hours, couldn't you? What? There's a deer in the house. That's all. It's, it's a deer. By the way, if you ever go out in your woods and you hear that, it's a deer. It's a terrifying sound. Really, it is. But it's a deer. Um. Um. Yeah, it's creepy. Uh, but anyway, what was I talking about? I totally forgot. Was it important? <laughs> I probably shouldn't film tonight either. I can't ain't get a sense. So, um, hell, I don't know what I was gonna say. I need to go to bed. That's what I need to do. I gotta get him to school in the morning. But 
Um, it seemed like that was important. Anyway, oh, 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 the little small gift that I did get from COVID. It's tiny. It's, it's really, I would rather have not had it, but regardless, since I did have it, mountains out of molehill, no. Damn it. Lemonade from lemons or a screwdriver. Wait, can you do that? Vodka twist. I don't know. I don't want to drink. But anyway, little tiny gift. Y'all, I've been killing stink bugs all damn day and I ain't smelled the first one. I still can't smell them suckers and I'm happy about it. Except for I did get like tiny whiffs when I had to put a mask on to go to the doctor's office. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, that whole area, for some reason, stink bugs really like it. They get in the house. I don't know how they get in the house, but they get all. Are you good? He's got allergies like I do. But anyway, they get it all around my kitchen window. All around it. Dad's using the vacuum cleaner. I'm just like sucking little suckers up. I'm like, I don't smell nothing. I'm so happy. Because <laughs> I, I, I went to town on I ain't seen a single one since then. My vacuum cleaner probably smells like absolute hell, but I can't tell. And if you come in my house, that's your problem. I can't smell it. <laughs> I'm getting small whiffs of like perfumes and, and different things like that, but not all out stink. Uh-uh. So, I, I noticed somebody was farting at work the other day. I kept getting whiffs. I'm like, I know it's one of y'all. I, I know it's one of y'all. See, I do it in front of the big fans. That way it just, whoosh, it's gone. Can't smell it because it don't stick around long enough. Back to life. Leave me alone. Okay, so I did get my fluid pills filled today, which no surprise over the last several days my weight's been <laughs> no matter what I've ate. Um, because when you come off those fluid pills, your weight shoots up. It just does. You, you, you retain fluid like crazy. But I went to the doctor today. And normally, yes, you can just call or have it faxed in or whatever. But it was prescribed for me, um, back to me at urgent care when I went about the COVID stuff. And um, when we did that, ugh, urgent care is like, you need to go to your doctor after this. And I was like, okay, so my blood pressure's high. One thing, one stubborn ass thing I can't get rid of. It's irritating. I probably can too. I've got to figure this out. I know, I know I can figure it out. But then I forget to figure it out. And then I get on TikTok and I don't think about it anymore. But <laughs> it's relaxing, kind of, unless you find something that pisses you off. But anyway... Uh, I did have to go in to the doctor to be seen to get the medicine refilled, which they upped it. Irritating, but they did. Um, so now I'm on 25 milligrams of HTCZ. Trust me, I don't want to take it. I don't, but I, I need to do more research on blood pressure too, the more legitimate research, because a lot of the stuff you're going to see from old school, you're going to die no matter what you do. I mean, <laughs> so, oh, you stubbed your toe, your blood pressure shot up. You going down unless you take 15 pills a day. Mm -hmm. So, we know that a lot of the stuff we thought is not reality, but that's just the one stubborn thing I've got that I just can't get rid of. And the doctor did get me to thinking a long time ago, so maybe yours is just always high. Maybe it is. I mean, your body, the human body can regulate and do what it needs to do. Perhaps it's high because there's work that needs to be done there. I just don't know what work it is or how to rectify it. I will find a solution, on it, one way or the other. Speaking of high blood pressure and myths, um, by the way, salt doesn't really cause blood pressure to go up. But, go ask Dr. Barry. Hi. Hi. Hope you tried coming with me. Okay. Well, anyway, you can go watch those videos on the salt myths and all that. But... There is speculation, at least over on TikTok, that they going to kind of start um, hoarding salt, basically, um, and not, not and like rationing it out. So, I'm not telling you to rush out and buy five gallons of salt. I'm saying if you are a prepper, you might want to get some extra. I'm saying if you can stuff, you might want to get some extra. No. Ain't no tallies. Why not? I don't know. Somebody's been using all the towels, I guess. Sorry. 
I don't have any clean towels. Um, the ones in the dryer are clean, they're just not dry. Yeah, Ones in the washer are clean. They're just not dry. <laughs> you can dry off with a dampish towel. Anyway, so I would say buy some extra salt if you need salt for a lot of things. Buy a little extra salt even if you don't, just in case. You know, you get you an extra shaker, an extra, uh, the one with the little umbrella girl if you must, or the pink salt if you can get it. I, I would say just get a little extra. Be a little more prepared you don't want to have a salt toilet paper shortage because believe it or not you do need salt physically your body needs salt you can't live if your body doesn't have any sodium in it a lot of people don't seem to know that but sodium is a much bigger thing than you've probably ever imagined so I mean look into it don't never take my word for nothing just you know I probably shouldn't do this video tonight there's so much going on with here um, I love you. Bin, bin. Bin, 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 bin. So gloss, gloss and right along. Uh, uh, my weight's done a whole yo-yo thing. I'm going to show you the way in from a couple days ago today. And yes, the last three weigh-ins. I'm going to show them to you back to back so you can see. And uh, I'll be right back. And the fluid retention shows up. Happy Saturday, you guys. Oh, 168. Heck of a jump. I need a nap. I've officially reached the time of year where I woke up and didn't want to take my clothes off. So it's cold. Just Sunday morning, 167.6. All right, guys, Monday morning, 167.2. I had to wait for my son-in-law to leave. Um, <laughs> I'm not shy about talking about things in front of people, but just him kind of ho hovering in there would be kind of awkward feeling. Anyway, so my weight has yo-yoed. It's a very big part to do with the water peel. I'm sure I'm not perfectly eating either, but I need to do that. I need to start cooking at home more, uh, buying more salad stuff with more meats. Definitely got to do the meats. It's not just about salad. It's about protein. It's more protein and fats than salads. But salads are something that's pretty easy to just pop in the refrigerator, take out, and eat at work or somewhere, you know? Yummy. Uh, almond. Uh, from a keto bark bar. So anyway, I'm going to get some stuff and just start concentrating more on eating at home, which is very difficult with my lifestyle, but... I need to do that more. Uh, many of you were very right. The whole COVID thing um, kind of proved that, you know, it, it didn't also hurt that I, I didn't really want to eat anything. Um, it wasn't extreme nausea, but enough that I didn't really just want anything and nothing sounded good and I just don't want to do anything. Um, but the weight did start to come off. So I got down below 160 again. So that's a good thing. And I really need to start like concentrating on more home foods, you know, uh, more cooked foods, which by the way, if you're keto, cooking at home is better for you. My first six months to a year, I don't think I ate out maybe once or twice. So that hey guys, was a huge thing. I have two questions. Um, I'm not exactly doing keto, but, if, but what do you, but I'm giving this like, you know, a would you rather thing. Should I get on keto or should I not? What do you rather? They would rather you did. Okay, leave it in the comments whenever she talks. Whenever she goes to that, you know, comment thing when she talks. Comment below your opinion of keto for children. Yes. For wild children. Yeah, Zach Wild. <laughs> Zach Wild Wilson, that's right. Like, keeping it wild. Keeping it wild. Anyways, I really love this shirt. I can tell now, you've been aggravating me to go Comment if I should do car, um, if I should do, yeah, keto. Yeah. Comment if I should do keto or not. Why did you draw the diamond picture yeah. at school? Because mm -hmm. I want to. Was it for me? Was it? This kid uh, and his teacher sent it to me as the thing I can order on a canvas, a diamond that this boo-boo here painted so i'm gonna let you say bye to them so i can finish talking bye. 
and then I'm going to show them the picture. Okay. He did that. <laughs> and as soon as I get it in and I get a good photo of it, I'm going to start using it here on my intros and stuff as my keto diamond. Um, because how sweet my grandbaby drew that at school. And the school, of course, offers uh, it on canvas and um, magnets. $30 for the canvas, but I think I'm going to go for it <laughs> when I get paid. Um, I thought it was cool. So anyway, let's talk about keto and the ups and downs. Not only, of course, coming off the fluid pill. I think COVID messed up my lady um, flow. Uh, PMS or period, whatever you want to call it, Shark Week. Um, of course, when I had the IUD, I didn't have one. I didn't have a period for like 11 years and I loved it. I didn't so much love all my hair falling out right through here and especially since I got thin hair anyway. But, um, and it did mess with my hormones to come off the IUD. But, um, so I, I started having one again with little crampy things and they lasted about two, three days, gone poof well this last time um that i had one i was i was i had COVID at the time and it lasted longer and it was a hell of a lot heavier and i was not happy with that um but this time y'all i'm on day six every time it acts like it's gonna slow down and stops it just jumps right into high gear again and it's like every day is day two and i know women will understand what that means um if you have a normal flow by the way, if you don't, if you have PCOS, Keto is recommended for that. Matter of fact, it's recommended for pretty much every damn thing. Do it. Anyway, um, but I do think it messed up my, my periods, and I hate it. I, yesterday was day five, and I was cramping on day five with a pretty heavy flow. Not like insane heavy. I don't want to, you know, make hey, it guys, sound like that. Guess what? Tomorrow is National Hat Day, so I get Oh, we gotta find you a hat. Hmm. We'll locate you one. The downside of losing a baby is your grandchild you can have see with you. Next year, um, today or in a month or a week, you can donate us a hat. Do we need a donated hat? We don't know, but if you wanna, comment down. Would you rather again? How about this? If you would like to send Zach Wilde a hat, there is a post office box down below. Mm -hmm. He also especially loves Beyblades. Yes. <laughs> There's probably a thousand. Yes. Pro probably have a thousand right here. Or two hundred. Can know. you let Jake in the house? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, Jake! I need to go pay on my P.O. box. Thank you. Welcome. Hold him house. The best I'm the best mama. Yeah. We better not tell you other mamas. Yeah. But they're, they're all the best mama. And you. It's okay. I can share with two other great women, can't I? <laughs> I'm still the best mama, though. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how I got this. I kind of feel like a scratch, but it isn't. It's sticky. Well, I mean, Ow, it hurts. oh, wait a minute, it might actually be a scratch. Did Suki get you? You was playing rough with it. Oh, yeah, earlier. yeah. Oh, uh, see, I can't send you back with a scratch. And then he's got this big old bruise right here where his, wait a minute, can you see it? Um, Sissy. Yeah, his sister decided to throw something heavy at him. Yeah, it was a pillbox that had like something really heavy in it. Pillbox? Yeah. Like a metal box kind of deal? Oh, okay, I know you're talking about. It's a trinket uh, box, actually. Yeah. Um,. You know, my leg really still has some dentures on it where you sit there when you was a baby so much. Hey. I have an underbite. I do too. It's not so bad, but I have an underbite. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, if you need help with your ketogenic journey, this awesome mama and dog mom, whose dog is drinking water while she's talking, uh, <laughs> will help anybody and everybody do keto for free because it changed my life, it saved my life for this magic little monkey here. Uh, <laughs> and it gave me my life back to spend much longer time with this little demon and my other little demons. And uh, I definitely recommend it for everybody. So if you need help, 
shout at your girl or visit ketodiamond.com or check out the links in the description below. There's a ton of great products that you don't need, but you might want. And if you want to try them, save you a dollar on them and use my discount stuff. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Um, hold on. Let me tell them something. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can donate me a sock because, um, Thursday we're doing a National Silly Sock Day. See, see the problem with the donating the hats and the socks is by the time they get here, you won't need them anymore. Yeah. But, So we'll just hey, have socks and hats. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. Next year, whenever it's hat and sock, silly sock day, I can have those hats. So. We can run to Wally World and get, oh, ooh, ooh, we can go to Dollar Tree and get you some silly socks. Sure, but hello, hello, hello Papa, hello, hello Papa. Wild man. <laughs> okay, so your beard got big. Huh? Yeah, your beard did get big. A big old football. Um, there is ways to support the channel in the description below that are very Link appreciated. Down below. Link below. And uh, oh my gosh, you guys. Much love, many prayers. Make your next meal keto. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I gotta pee. <laughs> keto. I'm keto. taking her away. You're taking me away. Where are we going? To jail. Jail? Nah, I'm good. I, I get in Facebook deal enough. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We're going to Keto Jail. To what? Keto Jail. Keto Jail. <laughs> Will there be steak? Yes. Will there be a good, nice, comfortable potty? No, but it'll be the same thing like that. I don't want the same thing like that. I want a better bathroom. <laughs> and then you'll have drinks. Drink? Yeah, just be normal tea, not sweet tea. No, normal tea is garbage. I don't How care. about some diet, Dr. Pepper? No. No? Well, I mean, I'm sweet by I'm, Dr. Pepper. Uh, diet, Dr. Pepper is basically kind of sort of unsweet. Just ask for it in my nose. It's just, hold on, I'm trying to scratch it. No! Uh, How are you so happy? Hey! <laughs> Hey, I'm too I, I weigh 50 pounds. You weigh 50 pounds? Well, probably more. I can Actually, you just got on the scale. How much did you weigh? I'll be right back. Okay. Go Let's One point six. Yeah. Okay. Sixty one point six. Anyway, guys, and also no! hit the button for me. I gotta pee. No, no. Hit the button. We gotta get a bed and all that stuff. No, no, no. Hit the no, button. No. Hit the button. Yeah. Please hit the button. Yeah. Why not? We go to keto jail. Keto jail. I don't know what keto jail is. It's a thing. Was that it? Almost.